Hey everyone, this is Elisa. I have another step two question for you. Go ahead and pause this, answer the question on your own, and then come back and we'll do it together. So a 24 year old man comes to the physician to establish routine care. He feels well. He has no past medical history. He immigrated from Nepal three weeks ago. He lives in a shelter. He has smoked one pack of cigarettes daily for the past six years. He has not received any childhood vaccinations. He appears healthy. Uh, vitals and physical exam are normal. A PPD skin test is performed and three days later, an induration of 13 millimeters is noted. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial step in the management of this patient? Now, our options are immediate respiratory isolation, collecting sputum for culture, collecting sputum for PCR, an interferon gamma assay, obtaining a chest x-ray, isoniazid for nine months with B6, ripe therapy or reassurance. So let's think about this patient. He's a young guy. He has been smoking for six years, so that's six pack years. He immigrated from Nepal, which is a TB endemic area, three weeks ago, so not very uh, long ago. He lives in a shelter, which means that's possible exposure, uh, something along the lines of prisons. He has had no vaccine, so probably no BCG vaccine. Uh, he's PPD positive. Anything over 10 is considered TB positive. Um, if they're at high risk, if they have in, um, immigrated from an endemic country. Um, so our answers, the first one is immediate respiratory isolation. So this would be the answer if we confirmed the patient and he had active TB, or if he presented with coughing, fever, weight loss, chills, um, and then he had this test and the PPG was positive. Basically, you need some proof that this patient has um, is needed to be in isolation. So it's probably not A. Second option is to collect sputum for culture. So culture is the gold standard for diagnosis of TB. However, this can take up to six weeks. And if a patient actually has TB, you don't want to wait six weeks. There's, there's a faster test than a culture. And that test is PCR. So a PCR is quick and it gives quick results. So in 48 hours, you will know if a patient has TB. However, before you even do a PCR, there's another test that you wanna think about. Um, an interferon gamma release assay is a useful test and an alternative to PPD. However, this was a PPD was already performed on this patient and he does not need to receive two diagnostic tests. Um, because this will not yield any additional information and it will just kind of be a waste of resources and time at this point. Uh, the IGRA is preferred in children above five years of age um, and those who have received the BCG vaccine, which is quite common in uh, Eastern Europe, other parts of Europe, as well as Asia, uh, because you will get a false positive PPD um, if you receive this vaccine. Um, and then also this patient did not receive any childhood vaccinations, so he probably didn't get the BCG vaccine, so he probably wouldn't have needed this test over the PPD in the first place. Uh, the next option is to obtain a chest x-ray. Well, uh, this patient is PPD positive, as we've established, and we need to figure out if he has active or latent TB, and the best way to do that is with a chest x-ray. So this is exactly what we're looking for. If the chest x-ray is positive, you see active pulmonary TB, then you get sputum cultures, PCR, um, and then you treat for active TB. If the chest x-ray is negative, which it often is, um, then you would treat for latent TB. Now treatment. So isoniazid for nine months, obviously with B6. Um, a nine month course is one of the treatments for latent tuberculosis. However, again, we need to figure out um, what he has. Ripe therapy is the isoniazid, rifampin, perizanamide, and a thambutol therapy, and it treats active TB. And then finally, reassurance. Reassurance is often very tempting on exams and is often actually the correct answer. However, in this case, we already established this patient is PPD positive and he has risk factors. So most likely, uh, very much likely, reassurance is not the answer. So our answer is a chest x-ray for positive PPD. And then we reassess um, 
and change our management based on what the x-ray shows us. All right, I hope you enjoyed that question and I hope you will tune in next week. <laughs>